changes in lifestyle have seen marked increases in health problems for populations around the world, no more so than in Pacific Island communities. That's why the Health Research Council of New Zealand are supporting the Obesity Prevention and Communities Project to better understand and turn around the serious health issues associated with obesity. We do know from the adult population that we die at a high rate um, and at an early age compared with the rest of New Zealand. So there was a high proportion of Pacific young people who were classified as either overweight or obese, a high proportion compared with the other ethnic groups, that is Maori, Asian and European. The rationale was to see if the young population was sort of mimicking the pattern in the older age group. Obesity is the major public health issue um, facing the Pacific community in New Zealand. Roughly about 60% or two-thirds roughly of Pacific children living in New Zealand are either obese or overweight based on international criteria. These levels have only occurred in the last 20 or 30 years. Clearly our lifestyle has changed in some way to contribute to that. Obesity plays a huge role in terms of heart disease, um, diabetes and cancer. Obesity is the main risk factor for diabetes and there's going to be huge costs to the health system in New Zealand and also huge personal costs to people who actually get diabetes if we don't do something about it. We need to address the body mass index of young Pacific people now in order to make a difference later on. The APIC project is a community-based obesity prevention project that's being carried out in four countries. OPIC is really about addressing the issue of obesity and overweight in, in communities. This is kind of the next level in terms of research. Um, in the past, the research is mainly about describing how big the burden is in terms of obesity or in terms of heart disease. But this new type of research now is attempting to, to do something about the problem and we know we can do something about it because we haven't had it at this level um, before the last two or three decades. For the first time we're trying multi-interventions and we found a number of, of key factors that were uh, contributing to weight gain. The amount of TB that um, students watch because we know that's a risk factor for obesity. So if they leave without having breakfast and if they have money in their pocket they're more likely to um, buy unhealthy food from a dairy or a takeaway shop on the way to school. At the moment I've just got some wheat mix um, and so we're having breakfast in the morning also for the kids to teach them to have a proper healthy breakfast. We're trying to work through the canteen to provide healthier options. They buy um, sugary drinks from a tuck shop and they don't drink too much water. They're playing sports and stuff and they're looking for water when they're thirsty. The water source wasn't there. We've provided uh, water sources in strategic places in the schools. Students are drinking more water, filtered water, and they like it, and they're filling their bottles as well. We want to be able to increase the amount of physical activity during school time or after school. People sit around, do nothing at lunchtime. So we're encouraging more physical activity during school hours and after school as well. It's all about health, get active. At the moment we have uh, about, on average, I'd say about 20 to 24 uh, students coming in the morning to do fitness training at seven o'clock in the morning when they normally would prefer to be sleeping late. With them coming, it's actually motivated us as, as staff as well to keep going at this. We were trying to change the environment to decrease the amount of weight that high school students put on. We're trying to work through the school curriculum in order to provide the, um, the knowledge, healthy nutrition, physical activity, those components, how they, they, um, they contribute to healthy life. The other a component of OPIC that is, um, that is important is that we want to have a look at the social cultural dynamics in the communities. Not enough is understood about the social cultural dynamics 
they play in the play in terms of obesity uh, intervention. What we're hoping to achieve is to be able to inform public health policy and the people that make decisions of where funds should go in terms of public health. The Obesity Prevention and Communities Project, OPIC, is a four-country study of young populations in Fiji, Tonga, New Zealand and Australia. It brings together funding from the Wellcome Trust in the UK, the Health Research Council and its Australian sister body, the National Health and Medical Research Council. At the end of the study we'll be able to combine the information that we collect to see if we've been effective or not in, in terms of um, slowing down the obesity epidemic. The opportunity to make a difference uh, with young people that I work with and, and see that if they have a better choice there is a chance that they will not end up you know, having chronic diseases later on in life. For me that kind of um, of thinking is very uh, rewarding for research. And we just hope that this thing will grow because from this stage we're actually going to start targeting the parents and getting the parents also to feel and get the same excitement that we have and being positive about their health. If we are successful, um, the benefits will flow on out into the wider New Zealand population because some of the strategies that we're using in this study will apply um, to right across the country.